Wednesday. Duffy, excuse me. I have something I need to talk about. So as you know, I am playing right now some God of War. I'm streaming it over on Twitch to Twitch tv slash hobbyfist if you wanted to uh go check it out there oh man i said gratis for this is ninjberg hmm is this not france uh now i'm concerned but i ran into a thing last night it's Kattenberg. this, this is germany mm. let me hit home i want to see that sign again Yeah, this is Germany. Uh, yeah, I think this is Germany. Nice part of Germany, but I ran into a thing last night that kind of bugged me a little bit. Now, there's a point that somebody brought up once on a, another YouTube channel called Super Best Friends Play. It was on their podcast. I'm sure they've talked about it plenty of times in any of their videos. Um, this gentleman on there named Wooly has this gripe he has sometimes with shows or movies and it basically his, his argument boils down to um issues and conflicts within stories and movies could be easily resolved if the two at least the two parties or the two people or two groups or any conflicting sides actually just sat down and talked you know just talk all of this issue arguments conflicts you have instead of just like brooding about it to each other just one of you guys stop and be like, listen, okay. I'm going to hedge my bets and do it more north because I'm not totally sure if this is Germany yet. <clears throat> but if they just sat and talked, all these issues, while maybe not getting fixed, could easily be allevi alleviated. And I ran into that last night playing some God of War. I'm not going to spoil anything. Just the concept of it. <clears throat> now, going into this... Game. It was fantastic. Everyone talked a really good. No, this is Netherlands. Okay. Everyone talked up this uh, game great. It it personified, or at least gave Kratos some sort of uh, personality that he didn't have, other than just Gurger, angry, everything die. Um, they they gave him some depth. I mean, he he's a it's a person you don't expect to be trying to be a father, doing you know raising a kid. I don't think I'm going to find this N9 thing anywhere. De Hout, I don't know where that is. But this is like, I'm going to say around here. But, um, going into this, as I've said before. Well, okay, yeah, there, he's going to have some difficult issues. And he's going to have to, how, how can this man raise a kid? Granted, he had a family before he destroyed it in one of the first, uh, God of War games. I mean, I never played it, but that's just what I've heard. And understood. But really early on in the game, I'm about eight hours in right now. Hmm, here we go, road signs. This is what I need. Um, there was a point that we're we're at. We get a little bit of exposition and um things come about where he uh finds out some information that <clears throat> he he probably didn't have access to or wasn't too much in his head to actually understand, but now that he, he, he's seen this, or at least had visions of it, whether or not he completely agrees with it or, or believes it is out of the question. I think it's irrelevant. Um, I'm just going to make guess here. Okay, I was close. Four stars. Netherlands, never been there before. Good job. That, okay, he's he, he, he had a thing, and uh, yeah, all this information that came to light, if he was like, wow, okay, I understand now. And if he sat down and just talked about it, with this new information that came about, a lot of the stress and aggravation he's going through right now could easily be taken care of. This is a really good example. Of it. And it, 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 and then, like, the couple of scenes afterwards, it just, this point gets compounded. All right, Langhang, Langhang, Hamilton. <clears throat> Excuse me. I can't tell. I don't think that says Indiana, but trick or treat. That just, um, thank you. Just like pause, take a minute, and be like, listen, okay. I understand how things are. 
uh, and maybe you feel this way, I'm sorry, or let, let's, let's try. I mean, there's a whole thing you can talk about. He, he's not a completely perfect individual, but then again, who is? But there, there's um, a little bit of, uh, uh, what's the word? Uh, some things I'm not willing to give up or, or let slide when you think about people who have kids. This is Bronson, Missouri. That like okay, other people when they uh, Lake Bronson. Have I been here before? It doesn't say history, wildlife, and beauty. I still don't know where this is yet. This might help. Here we go. Oh, that's a speed limit sign. I don't want to lose my train of thought too much here, because this is real important. Kitson County, shit. Back up a sign a little bit here. Here we go. This should help. All oh, these are county junction roads. This is Kitson. I don't know. I don't know where this is yet. All right. Because when you're when you're as a parent, you know, pride is. I I I think being a person who doesn't have a kid, there there's some things that you have to, uh, you know, give up because you have a kid. And I'd like to think, hey, if you have a kid, you, uh, everything kind of takes a back seat. Your, your own personality, your dignity, any of that stuff. It's all about the kid and how the kid can be raised. I got to click a place here in the country before I forget. I'm going to feel like here. And, you know, for the, the, the whole, I guess, crux or drive of what Kratos was is revenge. He, he felt like at the time his, uh, family was killed even though it was by him, but that's neither here nor there. That is a state line. I, mean, I feel like we might get close to where we are yet. This is Kitson. I don't know where the hell Kitson is. And having the kid, all right. Okay. I mean, how many more times can I babble on about this before? You're like, all right, we get it. Shut the fuck up. But uh, you could argue, okay, the man has pride. It's hard to do it. But no, man, you got a kid. You got to like, Put all that stuff behind you and be like, okay, kid means nothing now. I got to put it all behind me and make sure, especially because what I've been told this game's about, he's got to be willing to be like, all right, I want this kid to be a certain way. And the best way to help that happen is to get rid of all your ego, all your arrogance, and just make sure the kid's fine. And the easiest way to get that done would have been to... Realize all this information that I got in this little uh, plot dump they had. I still don't know what state this is. It's going to bug me when it turns out to be, like, way out west. And be like, alright. I'm acting like a dick now. I realize I've been a dick. It's up in fucking Minnesota. I never saw anything. I guess Kitson County is in Minnesota. That's on me. I'm getting real shitty with my U.S. guesses here. I have no excuse. But that's... I... A little bit concerned that might end up killing my uh, enjoyment of the game going forward, just because this one huge point, granted I'm only 8 hours in, I don't know how long the game is, I heard 30 to 40 hours it could be, potentially. I'm just going to have this issue of, yeah, but that one time back there, this all could have been fixed if you just talked. <clears throat> Excuse me, nitpicking probably, but <sighs> come on, man. I'm not saying I'm a better writer. No way am I saying a better writer. The guy who's wrote this, I believe, did the second God of War. And, like, the first one was done by a guy. The second one was done by... They're completely different people who've done every one. And it, it, it's a victim of its own success as far as the way the story and... Maybe believability. I don't know. I'm... I'm this, this is probably going a bit too far into the... Um, thought of... They should take things into consideration with the previous story. Well, actually, just saying that out loud now, of course they should do that. I mean, I don't know how much one writer would talk to the other one about, hey, I did this thing in this story. I wrote this stuff. Um, Kind of avoid doing these things because you end up getting yourself into, like, a contradiction. Or they're just like, no, no one gives a shit about story. It's just all about mashing the circle button and ripping people's arms off in a very cool way. And it was a product of his time. Because everyone thought it was fantastic. I never played it. I'm not saying I'm above it or anything. I just really had no desire to play it. This is totally Thailand. 
I'm going to click like here because Thailand is kind of a long country. But other than that, I'm enjoying it. I just hope that this one, one of the main things that I found intriguing as to why I'm playing it is going to end up biting me in the ass. I hope not. Anyway, we got the country. I don't know if I'm going to get any more specific because I can't read whatever language that is. If you can, good for you. I thought that guy was missing a front tire. These look like different size wheels, but they're not. I think I actually made this model truck when I was a kid. Nissan... I can't frontier, I forget what it was called, but... Other than that, what have I been doing? Playing a little bit of battle Battletech. Enjoy the game. Uh, load times are god-awful. They take forever to load. I mean, I have a decent computer. It's not fantastic. Sharp curve. Well, I guess that's what that means. But it, it definitely could uh, do with a bit of optimization. And tutorial ain't great. I lost the first uh, mission, the tutorial one, for all intents and purposes. Because there was two different health bars above the mechs when you have it. One's like white and the other one's orange. I don't, they doesn't explain any of that shit. No, I want to keep going this way. And it was like, the, the one of the main things for the, for the tutorial is uh, make sure everyone lives. And I had no idea my guy was in trouble in any way. And my guy just died. And I'm like, well, this is annoying. And I was, it was like a 40, mm, 30 to 45 minute first mission. It was a lot to have to redo. There were no checkpoints within the quest itself. I didn't quick save. That's on me. But uh, it was just annoying. And I'm coming from it uh, kind of like the way I am with Warhammer. Where I'm just kind of like a... Uh, um, there, there's like rings of... Uh, fandom and what i did most of the time uh let's see how close i was okay it was in the north i'll give myself four stars that there was a well this is helpful if only i knew this entire goddamn province which is stupidly huge i'm gonna click like here see if i can't find anything else here although i have the country right and the prov uh the the province. Um but when I was a kid on the local Ooh, this is gonna be super helpful. Thank you. Let's move up a bit. When I was a kid, I watched this uh, I, I I'm sure if I go back and look at it now, it'll be an awful. Well that's a ninety-four. There's a ninety-four. Northam. But it was cool as fuck when I watched it. Just be there. We go. Uh, we are heading south. No, we're heading this way. I'm gonna say we're like right here. I feel five kilometers. Eh, maybe like right there. This will be a. Bit, I think this is gonna be a super strong. Uh, guess I have here. But there, there was a BattleTech. Uh, cartoon. I remember little, if at all, of anything of the actual cartoon other than just the battles. This is like mid to late 90s CGI. Like, if you saw a reboot, I think it was more wireframes than what reboot was. But I also have this issue, what I'm sure a lot of people do when you get to a certain age where like 20 years can easily bleed into themselves. Where, like, I have well, Perth is that way. Northam York is this way. So I feel like I'm, I'm like right there. I feel like I got it. But 1992, like 2010 for some reason, or 95 to 2005, it all kind of just bleeds together for me. But Battletech, watch the fuck out of that when I was a kid. It was on Saturdays at like 6, I think. And I would watch it before my... Uh, Mom would take me to bowling on Saturday mornings, which I believe was like 7 o'clock. And now looking back at it, I don't think I would want to do that if I had any kids. But then again, hey, everything I was just talking about earlier before, like dropping everything because your kid wants to do it, I guess I would have to or otherwise be a massive hypocrite. But that's about the extent of 
Battletech. I mean, I did play, uh, I think it was Mech Commander 2 on the PC when I was in college. And the only reason I stuck with that game, which I think can kind of sum up how most people play these type of games, is uh, I played online for that game. Uh, let's see, I think it was before Games for Windows Live. It was just the cert, the, the client they used. Was uh, Live or Play? I forget exactly what it was called, but... Do you know the limit? We do. Yes, I know the limit. I'm going to push it to it. And I played that game, and the only reason I kept playing was because the first online match I played, I won. And I'm sure that other people who were super intimidated for playing these things, they they lost their first game. Like, I knew it, I'm garbage at this, I'm just going to stop. Like, when I played Red Alert 2, I think, on PC, the first match I ever played, I got destroyed. I'm like, well, fuck this, I don't want to do it anymore. I mean, I've, I've nailed it, I'm just kind of, like, taking a drive just because I'm making... I want to see what this place looks like. Because, thank you, us. Form one lane. I will not. And, uh, I kind of was like, alright, I'm playing this game, I'll look into it a little bit. And I'm like, okay, this stuff's interesting. But, since then, I tried playing that free one and didn't like it. I was very close. I am very satisfied. Five stars. Now, I have to nail this in order to get, um... In order to get the 20,000, although this feels like the shores of one of these places up here. So we'll start there. We are on the end. But other than that, I'm enjoying the game. I uh, don't think anything else. I've mainly babbled on about two annoying things in this, but uh, it's the middle of the week. How's your week been? Can Do you know where this is? If you do, please go back in time to the day prior and let me know so I can just like nail it with confidence and have a good Wednesday although I'm doing this on a Tuesday but that's just that's my problem not yours you're, you're here to watch it and thank you for watching it but yeah I think this is I want to say like here or like it's super on it was in English writing I didn't actually look at the cars to see what side the steering wheel was on. Now is this actually Canada and I'm just messing this up. I feel like I need to go back and uh, look at some cars because I'm either going to, well it says stop, Kasilov Beach. I feel this is Canada. I've uh switched I just don't know I'm uh man this sign may help Kazilov Beach Road that did not help or is this Alaska I need oh I well come on here we go I need to see that license plate on this car if it turns out to be yellow it's Alaska this potentially is Alaska. Just because Alaskan license plates are yellow like that. Um. Because. Okay, we are on the American side. Well, non British colony side of the road. Um. I need to see a official sign. This says. Ooh, wait, wait, it'll say it on this what road? No, it's not Old Settler Road. I have a minute left to try to nail this down, but I... This is either Pacific Northwest or Alaska. The problem is... Those two are very... Like, far enough away from each other where this could be a concern. I'm going to click like there. This would be a nice part of town, town, nice part of the country to visit, though. I think it looks, I mean, it's, the, the, the lens needs a good wiping. Dale Bagley, borough mayor. So I feel that, um, or is this New York? This can't be New York, if this turns out to be, because this is also potentially a New York license plate. Oh no. 
can't, I can't this doesn't feel like New York. That uh, no, this this isn't New York. It's the 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 pine trees make it look too not New York like. I'm hoping I can get to any road sign. Anything, please. If this turns out to be I nine, we're very mad. Okay. I was pretty close. Actually, that's not very close at all. Three thousand points only for there. Kalifornski. We're on Highway One apparently, which goes a long way and ends in the middle of nowhere. They just drive you right off the 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 cliff into the cliff, an island, right into the Pacific or the Gulf of Alaska. But whatever, it looked pretty. Four stars. And there we have it. There's a bit of a turn of events here when uh, everything I uh, get bad now, except for that one Mexico one, it, it seems to be the U.S. And I'm just not finding enough information, and that's my own problem, to uh, fix fix the solution. But that's not your problem, that's my problem. I just need to get better. And that's what the whole point of this thing is, other than me just babbling on in my monotone voice, is learn some things and get better at this. But in the meantime... I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you could like, favorite, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, check out the other stuff we got going on the channel. Oh man, indigestion. Excuse me. We're uh, still playing our way through Uncharted. As I mentioned earlier, we are, um, or I am playing God of War Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, putting up the VODs on Thursday, Friday, Saturday of the same week. If you don't catch it live, uh, watch it then. But yeah, for everyone here, have a good one. We'll at least see you Friday. More of this. Yo, guess her goodness. Goodbye.